a Dades power supply from a Jurassic Park. And it came to me working, but it wasn't going to work for long. And I'll show you why. But let's test the GI circuit first. That is working. C2, the small one right here, had leaked. And it was beginning to corrode the trace. Now I've abated that corrosion. And also C7, sorry about the gigantic hand, but it was leaking also. I also replaced C3. It's a 47 microfarad 63 volt cap. That one leaks periodically too, so I've preventively uh, replaced that cap. So let's test the power. I have my meter hooked up, and I have some, some empty headers here to prevent me from shorting from one pin to the other. So here are the high voltages for the DMD. Minus 90, minus 111, and about 68, and that is correct. Let's come over here and check for the five and minus 12, 12. That's ground, 12 again. Here's your five volts. So we have 4.90, which is just fine. So we can go down and check. the flash lamp power and I know the coil power is working since I already tested it with the my GI tester. This little GI tester takes coil power from this connector CN3 and it's switched by the three pin connector and then it switches this relay when I press the button on my little doohickey here. So this power supply is now good to go for a long time now that C2 and C7 have been replaced. If you have a Data East game, I would recommend taking a look at C2. We've got some good pictures in the pin wiki, but you'll see some kind of uh, wet or spooge-like leaking out of C2. And if it's leaking, C7 is leaking also. Thanks for sending it.